Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Cameron, for those who don't know me. In this vlog, we will be celebrating the Chinese New Year, which is the biggest festival in China. This is a time where people are cleaning out their houses to take out the old, buying new things to bring in the new, they're spending time with their families, they're eating different foods that represent health, wealth, prosperity, and happiness, and they're just using this time to celebrate with their families and relax, I guess. I will try to do as many of the customs as possible and take you guys along with me. I really hope that you guys enjoy. to be doing the whole deep spring clean for spring festival this usually happens on the 30th to the 31st of January and that's just when you go into that room or that closet or that garage or that messy area in your house and you just take out all the old things and you make space for the new you just give away all the stuff that you don't need and that somebody else could possibly use and you also get rid of all the clutter and the papers and stuff that you don't want anymore and i think this is relatively a really good habit to have i know a lot of people already do it they go and they do the spring clean like once a year twice a year once a month it just depends on you i guess and i think that's a really good thing to do so i'm gonna go into my messy room that i just hide my stuff in and to be honest like i think everything in there I told myself I could use or there's a place for it in my house because I moved here not too long ago. So I was just like, okay, I'll have the time to sit down and sort it all out. And to be honest with you, the door is just being closed. I clean my house and I'm like, wow, my house is so clean. And then I go to that room and I open the door and I'm like, mm, let me just close the door now. Um, I just want to forget about this. So. I think this is the perfect opportunity to actually just go and sort that mess out and then show you guys also how I dispose it because it's pretty interesting. This is the spare room where I just keep all my stuff that I don't have any use for at this present time. And yeah, I'm kind of scared to see what it looks like right now. But this is what it looks like. There's just boxes with some paintings and stuff that I did and that I got from some friends and there's just a whole lot of stuff that I don't use some old electric blanket my friend's suitcase that really needs to go and some things that I also can't get rid of like this is my friend's bag because I helped her with her move but then there's some things that I can actually get rid of so this is our task today do you guys see what I mean it's so beautiful and clean Beautiful and clean. And then there's this dump. So I'm just like, uh, not today. Bro, I don't even know where to start right now. There's just so much clutter, there's so much stuff. This box has paintings in, and I don't know how to get rid of it or what to do with it, in fact, because there's no place in my house for it at all. So, if anybody wants a painting, please hit me up. I will give you the paintings. This ladder is kind of difficult to move already. Like, I don't know what to do with it because I came here and there was a ladder already. So, I don't even know how to close this because it's stuck. I think paint is stuck to it, so I don't know. Oh, hey, there's a bottle over here that I used to use when I was living in my dormitory for water. So, if there's anybody in China that needs a water bottle, hit me up, I will give you this water bottle. Okay, what else do we have here? They sort out what could be reused, they 
sort out the stuff that could possibly be broken and nobody would probably want that and they probably recycle it. I don't actually know exactly what they do with it, but I just like the fact that after I take it out of my house, I don't have to worry about it anymore. So that's what I kind of want to do today. And this is what the room looks like now. So much better than it was before. I just ended up putting the drawers over here so I can put my textbooks and stuff inside. But I'm really happy overall. It's the next day because I was really tired and lazy after yesterday's clean up. So today I'll be disposing all the things from yesterday, the boxes, the clothes, you name it. I ended up just leaving it outside my apartment. So that's what I really need to do today. And then yesterday while I was cleaning up, I ended up finding my Chinese decoration. This is it over here. It's the Chinese character Fu, which means blessing. During this time period, people are hanging up these beautiful decorations outside of their doors, their windows, sometimes the cars, and you see them all over the shopping malls, outside all the, the shop windows and things. So I have my own one that I got a couple of years ago, and I'm going to hang it up by my window. I'm about to hang my Chinese decoration. It's really beautiful. According to my Chinese friend, it doesn't actually matter which way you hang it from the top or from the bottom, although it makes more sense for me to hang it from the top because of the big loop. I'm gonna hang it by this window, kind of like how it's hung over there, if you can see, right over there. That's how I want it.
So an issue I want to address that probably a lot of foreigners in China experience is the staring. I literally had to move from downstairs to upstairs just because I was feeling so awkward because of all the staring. Like I understand I'm a foreigner and there's probably not a lot of foreigners around here but it's so awkward because I just want to drink my coffee in peace. Now I went from trying to run away from the freezing cold to literally sitting in the cold because it just feels so awkward to be stared at like the entire time so yeah I don't know why these people do this um, yeah it just happens often and it can be a little bit awkward so I don't know I don't know how you guys deal with it if you have tips and tricks on how to deal with it let me know I put my earphones in most of the time so I don't feel awkward but honestly it just can feel but overwhelming.